It's not easy for women hip-hop artists to make it in a culture where objectification and misogyny persists. But Tolagalem Kwanazi, popularly known as Biscuit, has been rapping her way to the top of the charts for over a decade now. Well, to discuss her music journey, Biscuit joins us live now in the studio. She will also will be performing a little bit later for us. Can't wait for that performance. But uh, thank you so much for your time. And welcome, obviously, to the South African Morning Biscuit. I love the name, first thank of all. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love the name. But let's talk a little bit about it. Hip-hop yeah. culture when it comes to female expression, you know, yes. and whether or not spaces are being provided for women, uh, female artists, yeah. to be taken seriously within the industry. I've got a couple of uh, favorites in the industry as well. Awesome. Uh, Nadia Nakai's got my, I've got awesome. the song playing yeah. on. Yeah. on on, on overdrive in my car, yeah. right? However, I often worry that the industry in itself and the consumers don't take it as seriously as it needs to be taken. Your take? Yeah. Well, um, I think that used to happen back then, but mm. right now I think the gap is fully open for women, you know? Um, I've met so many women in the industry right now, so I feel like the gap has opened, and I feel like we have a chance right now to, like, blow up. So, yeah, there's definitely a, a gap for us now. You know when you say that was the case back then? Yes. In my mind, I'm thinking, because we had gangster rap, yeah. you know, and literally only one woman yeah. was known for being a pioneer in gangster rap, and that was Lil' Kim. True. You know, now we're moving into different, I'll call it, you know, shades of hip-hop, yeah. where yeah. it doesn't have and to genres. be, and genres mm -hmm. as well. It doesn't have to be that hardcore, I'm going to yes. kill you, no. blah, blah, blah. No. You know, we don't have to be degrading and objectifying women in our rap as well. We can True. be we, Drake. We can be, we can be Drake. <laughs> we can be Drake. We can, yeah, be, we can Drake. be Nikki. You know, we can be Nikki as well. I mean, yeah. wha just talk to us about the importance of that shift you know, the paradigm shift in hip-hop over the, the decades. Yeah. Um, um, over the decade, I think when you talk about Lil' Kim, um, that time actually people like us were still young. You know, we were looking up to Lil' Kim like we love Lil' Kim. Mm. But right now the gap has opened so much that there's so many rappers that um, I don't even see Lil' Kim anymore because there's so many new rappers that are coming through. So I think over a decade it has changed a lot and it has given women a chance to just show themselves who they are and their talent. Yeah. How do rappers, and I'm going to be biased and say rappers who happen to be female, because I never want us to be classified and say you're a woman rapper, so therefore yeah. I must feel sorry for you. But how do rappers, especially who, got, who happen to be female, actually set themselves apart yeah. and make money in the South African industry? Because I truly believe if you're not making money, then what's the point of doing this uh, whole thing Women well? in general but, or but just in hip-hop? But in hip-hop. How, how do you stand out? And how do you make money and also have that yeah. cross-border kind of collaboration? Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite tricky to be honest because um, like people like me, um, I, don't, I don't like flash, like, you know, wear like short stuff to show who I am. You remind me or, of Queen Latifah. <laughs> Thank you, that's right? so yeah. dope. I love her so uh, yeah. much. <laughs> so I don't flash, I don't show like body parts um, to say, hey guys, look at me, you know? And that's actually where the market for women is like like people are focused on because when you flash all the men wants to see you they like they, they want to watch your show they want to go to your shows but people with like people like us they want to listen to the lyrics like okay what are you saying because we don't see anything flashy you know so yeah i think it's it's yeah let's do you trouble. feel though that on that po on that point do you feel though that we are we are not listening to your music when you are showing your body you know because we are in an age where we are celebrating body positivity. You know, we are celebrating women being able to express themselves however yeah. they feel. And I'm yes. very much, you know, a, a yes. fan of that. A woman that, yes. if, if you feel that you need to be, you know, walking around, yeah. you know, half naked, that's okay. Yeah. That should not take away from the fact True. that you do have that talent. True. But do you feel that, and I'm, when I was zoning on men, because, you, you know, it's, it's, there's that perception that yeah. that is done for, for, for male appreciation, when in fact it really isn't. Yeah. But let's zone in on the men. Do you feel that men are not hearing Biscuit when Biscuit is not dressed? Um, okay, maybe I'm just, when I, when I made an example with that, I meant like in the industry of no, women, um, it's, uh, the music is most focused on the women that are not wearing anything. Not mm. to say I'm judging mm. them, mm. but um, with, when, when it comes to me, I feel like people do listen to me because I'm very present with everything that I do on stage, um, my image, so I'm very present, so you will want to know who's Biscuit. Mm. Yeah.